of course, you are the perfect person because the re the, just to get in, you know, exactly why you are here today. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I, I decided that I, I had a voice and I could use that voice to yeah. help other women. So, I mean, literally a week after I was diagnosed, I went to meet a breast cancer charity, which is now called Breast Cancer Now. And I said, I want to do something positive. I want to be a voice. And so I, be I became a voice for Breast Cancer Now. And um, so today I'm here to tell you about Wear It Pink, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. And I mean, this is, you don't know how unusual this is to see me in a pink yeah. skirt. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's pink skirt. I'm not in khaki. This is <laughs> um, And so I'm wearing pink and I will be wearing pink tomorrow. And Wear It Pink is, is a sort of, it's an annual fundraiser and awareness campaign. And it's to make people aware of breast cancer. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But also, so hopefully people will raise money for breast cancer. Yeah. They'll have a, a pink cake sale day or they'll, you know, draw pink pictures or just like your kids at school have civvies day. Yeah, hopefully yeah. lots of offices will have pink mm. day mm. and the guys must wear pink as well. We want and pink wigs, fantastic. pink leg warmers. It's, it's so simple but everyone will yeah. be wondering why is everyone wearing pink, especially with the weather we're having right now and it will just get that conversation going. Exactly. And how important it is to get your mammograms because if you're registered with your doctor at the age of 50 you will be invited to get mammograms. So, you know, every Everybody should take that opportunity and even when you're having a cervical screening from the age of 25 you can ask the doctor please can you check my breast because it's mm. so important that early diagnosis isn't it it, yeah. it really is and and you know I mean I was lucky I consider myself very lucky and obviously some people aren't as lucky when they're diagnosed with yes. breast cancer a lot of women don't survive from breast cancer so it's really important to detect yeah. it early exactly and yeah. I feel because I've detected it early and because I've had the surgery mm -hmm. my life isn't very compromised by having breast cancer yeah. yes yeah. I've got hard boobs and I can bounce on a trampoline and nothing moves but you know <laughs> apart from that yeah. I don't feel very compromised I feel yes. very well I feel very fit and I Good. feel very healthy and I feel very lucky Always <laughs>